Welcome back guys to another video. Let's talk about workhorse stock because so far this company is absolutely crazy. So recently we just had a huge surge in the S&P 500 and also the NASDAQ stocks are simply going up and right now workhorse seems to get some of the effect but not fully. Like you would expect if the S&P 500 goes up 7% this week, workhorse would be going up way more than just 2.55%. Now, obviously, Workhorse is going through some troubles. One of them is little to no information about the upcoming USPS contract. Now, this video, let's talk about how Workhorse can be having a lot of potential and should you guys buy Workhorse at around $17 to $18 around this region. And the short answer is a maybe. It really depends on your perception and also how patient are you guys about this company because currently you got major stocks out there that are going to the absolute moon Neo keeps going up. Tesla recently is going up a little bit. The NASDAQ is going up. Amazon, Apple, cloud stocks are going up. Are you guys patient enough? And are you guys having the enough mental capacity to not change directions, selling your shares of Workhorse and going to other companies? If you guys can't seem to hold Workhorse for a very long time, it might not be the best way to buy it. I feel like you may want to invest in other companies and possibly maybe late November or early December, and the stock price is still pretty low, you may wanna sell some of your other shares and buy some shares of Workhorse. Now, Workhorse has a lot of potential. It's a major gamble. It's very similar to how people gambled on AIMT and also the peanut allergy drug, which was eventually bought out by Nestle and the stock surged 173% in a single day, and the option prices made a lot of people multimillionaires, and that's when a bunch of people forgot about it. Right now, Workhorse is a stock where a lot of people simply forgot about it. When the share prices keep dropping like this, people don't really look at the company anymore. And Workhorse stock right now is at kind of like a three month low. It's kind of like what the price was before the huge initial surge up. And this whole surge, the reason why it doubled the price tag and also the market cap was simply because Workhorse had a lot of hype surrounding the USPS deal, which apparently is valued at $8.1 billion. And $8.1 billion is like four times the market cap of Workhorse at this current moment. And so far, Workhorse, it went up, it went down, a slow bleed, a huge surge right there because Roth Capital came out and said that Workhorse will be getting some sort of announcement. USPS will be announcing a deal on October 13th. That never happened and shares started plummeting ever since. It's kind of like Virgin Galactic where there's huge initial hype and eventually there's a lot of sell-off when people don't see like the fruits of the overall achievements. And so far, Workhorse is struggling. It's down almost 30% in the past month. If you guys bought it at the top around $20, it's super painful and you may even consider selling. But most of the bleeding seems to stop. I feel like Workhorse, if it starts hitting below $15, we could be seeing a major free fall. But every time when Workhorse gets really close to $15, it automatically jumps up. Like for example, on November 4th, it was hitting like $16. It could be going down to 15, but eventually people started buying in today and the stock surged to peak of 8.6%. Now it's up about 6%. And so if I were to check out Workhorse, a lot of the times when shares tumble like this, it's because of short sellers. A lot of short sellers, when they get into Workhorse, they borrow stock from someone else, they sell it, but they have an obligation to buy it back. This means that they're betting that the stock price goes down. That's how you short a stock, it means you're a major bear. And when you do that, obviously when a bunch of people short the stock, stock goes down because you see a bunch of selling. And because Workhorse isn't having any sort of major news, not a lot of people are buying, but there sure has a lot of people selling. And keep in mind, short selling, when a bunch of people start selling, to close it, you have to buy back the stock. When you buy back the stock, stock goes up, and that's called a short squeeze. And when people do that all at the same time, stock absolutely goes up. So if you look at the short squeeze right now, about 20% of all of Workhorse's shares are being shorted. That's insane. Usually you see four or 5% and that's already a lot. But for Workhorse, a fifth of all the shares are being shorted. And keep in mind, if Workhorse does just tease about the USPS contract, stock will absolutely surge up, possibly 20, 30% a single day. Because when you have some sort of a confirmation about the USPS deal or some sort of a major contractor, everyone that shorted the stock will want to buy it back to close their positions 
and take their gains. And keep in mind, if there is a USPS deal, because the, so far there isn't one, and that's why the shares are dropping, and Workhorse does announce it, I could pretty much guarantee you the shares will probably go up 100, 150, even 200% in a single day. Because not only do you have regular traders buying into Workhorse because they just got a giant deal, but the short sellers, a fifth of the shares that are being shorted, most likely will buy back their contracts immediately as fast as they can. Can you imagine 20% of the stocks being bought back? That will send the stock absolutely to the moon. And combine that with the USPS deal and other guys out there buying the shares, this stock will absolutely explode up. I could pretty much say options probably go up 20, 30,000 percent, very similar to how when Luck and Coffee went down, people became millionaires. It's kind of similar to how when AIMT got bought out, people became millionaires. And ARK Invest is investing pretty heavily into Workhorse. Even though the company is dropping on like a weekly basis, they're still buying more. If you check out ARK Invest and what they're doing, you clearly see in Workhorse right here, you can see this little chart going up, meaning that they're buying Workhorse more and more. It's not like these charts right here when they buy it and it's completely flat means they're not adding onto their positions. It's unlike this stock where they bought in and it's flat and they're not buying any more positions. Workhorse on the other hand, they keep buying it. They keep buying it, buying it, and when it drops even more, you can see this giant spike up. ARK Invest submitted a giant buy order for as many shares as they possibly could buy. When ARK Invest is pretty bullish on Workhorse, it could be a major reason to jump into the train. And the ETF has Workhorse as a 2% weight, which is pretty heavy, especially for this really, really small you know, $2 billion market cap company. And so far, USPS deal, well, let's just see what's going on. Because if Workhorse does get this deal, there is a reward for Lordstown Motors and might get $800 million. Remember, Workhorse also has 10% of Lordstown Motors shares. They own 10% of them. And if Lordstown Motors gets $800 million, Lordstown Motors stock will go up. And since Workhorse owns a bunch of shares of Lordstown Motors, Workhorse stock will go up. It will go up even more because of the short squeeze, and it will go up even more because people simply want to buy in because they got this USPS contract. Now, this whole entire company is absolutely banking on the United States Postal Service. There's people out there saying Workhorse will be fine if they don't, don't get it. I don't think Workhorse would be fine if they don't get it. I feel like when it starts coming towards the USPS contract, if the United States Postal Service announces a specific date for the contract, shares of Workhorse will slowly climb up no more than $30. If they don't announce it, shares will absolutely plummet. If they announce it, shares will absolutely skyrocket it. If Workhorse doesn't get the contract, I feel like they may actually dip to $10 or $12, maybe not lower than $10, but this is where the you know overall stock price will be at. But so far, Workhorse, I guess it's the buy at $17. It's super cheap. It's so cheap to the point that you may just play the run up to the hype of the deal. If you get kind of nervous, maybe the deal might not fall through when USPS contra when USPS announces the specific date of the announcement. Then you just sell your shares and leave. That's my thought of it. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.